Hey there folks, Paul Markle with Student of the Gun and I'm out on the range doing God's work today. And uh, I just engaged in what we're calling the 40-20-25 drill. And you're like, what the heck is that? Uh, you could call it the Dick and Drill, or the Eli Drill, or the Eli Dick and Drill. But from what I know about that young man, uh, it seems that he's a humble uh, individual, and he probably wouldn't want a drill named after him. Now, 402025 stands for 40 yards, 20 yards, 25 feet. And for those of you who aren't aware, a, uh, a young man named Eli Dickin was eating in a mall with his girlfriend uh, in Greenwood, Indiana and a, uh, a lunatic decided that they were going to uh, engage in a killing spree and came out of the, the men's room with a rifle and opened fire indiscriminately on people in the mall. Well, Eli was carrying a gun and uh, he jumped up and rather than run away or hide or say, well, he's far away and he doesn't see me, uh, he actually uh, did what you should do what a good citizen does and, and he engaged the bad guy and that's what we've been talking about uh, for years James has been talking about it Farnham's been talking about it Hackthorne's been talking about it we've been talking about it if you ever find yourself in a situation where there's an active shooter a, a mass killer what you need to do as an armed citizen is distract them from the their innocent victims you need to turn their attention away from slaughtering innocent unarmed people to you. And how do you turn their attention away from slaughtering the innocent? Well, you put bullets into them. That's what you do. And that's what Eli Dickin did. And he was 40 yards away when he ran up and stabilized himself, according to the news stories. He stabilized himself on a trash can and fired four shots at the bad guy. And the bad guy moved around and was looking you know where'd that come from but he didn't he wasn't done so Eli ran from 40 yard cover he ran to 20 yard cover and he fired four more shots and then the dude went down but he was still wiggling around trying to get away and he had his rifle and so Eli left cover at 20 ran up to 25 feet away or eight yards or so and the, the Bad guy was still wiggling, moving, trying to, to get away with his rifle, so he shot him two more times. He fired two more rounds. Out of the ten shots that Eli Dickin fired, eight of them hit the bad guy. It's pretty darn good, especially when he started at 40 yards. So, and, and the forensics guys, they all believe that the of the first four shots, two made impacts, right? But let's just see, he got eight out of ten. That is admirable. He's got adrenaline dumping. He starts at 40 yards away. He's got a bad guy with a rifle trying to kill people. Did a fantastic job. So what I did is I like, okay, we'll do 40, 20, 25. I set up a silhouette target with a piece of paper on it so we could easily uh, count the holes. And uh, I used my, my carry Glock. This is a Glock 48. And I used the carry ammo. The carry ammo is Black Hills Honey Badger. For those of you that don't believe me, Black Hills Honey Badger ammo. I was wearing my prescription glasses, my normal glasses, my trifocals, because that's probably what I'm going to be wearing. And uh, I substituted the uh, trash can for the hood of the truck. So I stabilized, you know, first four shots, you get to stabilize yourself at 40 yards. Second four shots, you're using cover, but no stability. And then the last two shots, need to be taken from 25 feet away, eight yards or so. And uh, the score is you gotta get eight out of 10 somewhere on the body. Now people are like, well, what about the X-rings? Here's the deal. When you're dealing with a, a, a mass killer, a psychotic person who's trying to, or a terrorist, whatever, slaughter the innocent, the most important thing is to take their attention off of killing innocent people and put it on you. And generally, if you put bullets into their body, it'll do that. So the 40, 20, 25 drill, uh, I did that. I ran through it twice and uh, I got all 20 rounds on there. Not, not all, they weren't, I'm not gonna lie to you, they weren't all like this. I mean, they were, they were spread out around the, the torso. 
uh, but I but I didn't miss. I, I got 20 out of 20. So if you're looking for a drill, or if you're looking for some freaking training, you might go to the range and you might try this and realize that mm, you got four or five out of 10 and you're thinking, oh, I need a little bit more skill. Well, if you're looking for some skill, come join us for training for the martial application of the pistol class, or just go to SOTGU.com and sign up for one of our upcoming training classes. It's as easy as that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am Paul Markle with Student of the Gun. Remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.